Hello viewers, I'm Ron Grant coming to you out of Tortola in the British Virgin Islands. Uh, good day to all and thank you so much for tuning in. You're watching 284 Media. With the emergence of digital revolution, financial technology has become one of the most important characteristics of today's economy and finance. There's a special training program that's coming up in the BVI that is designed to support the development of the fintech ecosystem here in the British Virgin Islands. I am joined by CEO of BVI Finance, Ms. Elise Donovan, and Director of the H. Lively Stout Community College, Robert Matavius Institute for Financial Services, Dr. Derry Hodge. They both break down the program as well as its contributions and how it's really going to impact our uh, society. We thank you so much for tuning in and I'll be joined with these individuals right after a quick commercial break. Live stream cable TV is here with CCT Live. Access over 80 channels that you can watch either at home or when you're on the go. And don't worry about missing your favorite series, sports, news, and local programming. Rewind and watch in your own time. Come to CCT today and ask about our one month free trial offer. CCT Live. Bring it home. Viewers, welcome back. As promised, I am joined by two very special individuals, Dr. Derry Hodge and Miss Elise Donovan. Uh, guys, thank you so much for your time and welcome to 284 Media. Thank you, Mr. Grant. Thank you very much for having us here. Absolutely. Before we get into FinTech um, and the actual program, I would love you to both uh, share a little bit about your organizations, beginning with Ms. Donovan. Well, BVI Finance is the voice of the BVI's financial services industry. And what we do is we market and promote our financial services industry to our markets across the globe. As you know, financial services industry is one of the backbone or pillars of the BVI economy, contributing about 60 percent of, of government revenues and a significant percentage of, 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 of GDP in the economy, as well as it creates a number of jobs. Uh, one in 10 jobs out in, in the uh, BVI are created in the financial services industry. So financial services is very important and it's very important to market uh, the BVI across the globe and that's what BVI Finance essentially does. So we're the voice of the financial services industry. Dr. Hodge? Yes, okay, so thank you, Mr. Grant. Okay, so your viewers may know of the Financial Services Institute at H. Lively Style Community College, but we've been renamed to the Robert Mathavius yes. Institute for Financial Services, and I'm the director there. The RMI, for short, uh, we provide financial services training, professional qualifications to support persons that are within the industry. We've been doing that since 2002, and uh, we continue to do that today. We are a unit of the H. Lively Style Community College, and we work out of the Marine Center in Parakeeta Bay. Wonderful. Now, the partnering uh, firms, uh, of course, play a very pivotal uh, role in this uh, program that we're, we're going to be talking about, which is being offered uh, to uh, the BVI community. Tell me about the other partnering firms uh, that are offering this program alongside you. Yes. Okay. So for this particular uh, program, uh, Mr. Grant, we partnered with BVI Finance, with the National University of Singapore, their School of Computing, FinTech department, and with the Ministry of Education, uh, Culture, Youth Affairs, Agriculture, and Fisheries. And uh, it's, a, it's a partnership designed to provide um, this important training that, that all believe are important for the BVI and for persons to be exposed to this kind of development. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, fintech, of course, uh, is essentially uh, one of the most pivotal points of an economy. Uh, for persons who may not know, uh, Ms. Donovan, can you break fintech down for us and tell us what exactly is this about? Uh, fintech is essentially, it's a new technology that seeks to bring together uh, finance and technology, which are two of the largest uh, industries in the world, global uh, industries, and it improves and automates delivery services and helps uh, customers, it helps businesses to, uh, with their processes and, and also in their delivery of software and uh, algorithms in terms of how they use computers and some of the processes on, on smartphones. And what we know about the FinTech, it's, as I said, it's an amalgamation 
of two of the world's largest industries, uh, finance and technology. And it brings together uh, these industries to improve and to grow uh, fin fin fintech. And it's a five, five trillion dollar industry, and it's creating a lot of opportunities in terms of professionals, in terms of, of growth. It's one of the fastest growing industries. I think the fintech industry grew about 45% uh, just uh, last year, and that is a significant amount of growth, you know, because we've been uh, locked behind uh, yes. cut screens because of, of COVID largely. So our communication channels had to be uh, digital ties and so we've seen the growth of financial technologies and the growth of fintech and uh, there are lots of opportunities being created in the field. Wonderful. Now with this in mind, tell us briefly about this new program uh, in fintech that's going to be offered. Okay, so this program, uh, Mr. Grant, is designed to, I like to say, baptize the mm -hmm. participants into the world of fintech. Uh, many have been exposed to fintech naturally if you use uh, your computer to do online banking. Um, some of you are familiar with um, some of the applications such as um, Ching. If you're in the U.S., you've used uh, Zelle and some of the others there. And so we're familiar basically with some of the applications of fintech, but it's, it's much broader. It involves things such as cryptocurrency, robotic process automation, uh, crowdfunding technologies. And so we want to give persons an opportunity to be exposed to this whole brand new and brave new world of fintech and to learn some of the key concepts and the usage of fintech, uh, the back end and front end, the programming concepts that are involved, but also an opportunity to practice uh, fintech concepts uh, by using and applying those concepts within a local firm. So it's a program designed to immerse persons in fintech, give them an opportunity to practice fintech in a local firm. And we're hoping that it'll give persons an opportunity to uh, expand their portfolios in their current uh, working situation, or perhaps consider new careers and new opportunities within fintech. And so we'll talk more about the structure as we go on, Mr. Grant. Indeed, I was just going to ask you, for persons who are interested, uh, can you break down the content, structure, delivery, uh, and even the application of the program? What can uh, prospective students expect to learn? Right. Okay. So it is, a, it is an eight-week uh, intensive course. It really has two phases. There's a coursework phase that involves um, eight weeks of classroom uh, type delivery and then there's a project phase that involves uh, one to four months where they do a very practical project uh, within the community. So students will be exposed to four modules. Uh, module one will uh, be basically a deep dive into fintech looking at cases and the theory, the background, the foundation of fintech and how really it can be used to improve the way businesses function and how they service their customers. There'll be a second module that will look at design thinking and this is a problem solving approach and technique that can then be used to apply FinTech to solving business problems. They'll also be exposed to robotic process automation. Now this is about um, firms often have repetitive manual tasks such as um, invoicing, uh, data extraction, uh, answering queries, etc. And so we'll be looking at how computers, machine learning, and technology can be used to automate some of those processes. The fourth module or, or course, because there are four modules, is a module that looks at business intelligence and how one can um, take the massive amounts of data that they receive on a regular basis and interpret that data and turn that data into useful information that then can be used to improve their business. There's an optional module that deals with algo trading. This is okay. the use of computers for investment. And so that's another option that persons can um, um, opt for if they take the course. So it's structured to be uh, very intense. It'll be delivered by Zoom twice a week for eight weeks, 6.30 in the afternoon to 8.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. 
And the professors are, will be lecturing from the National University of Singapore. They are 12 hours ahead of us, Mr. Grant. So they'll be getting up at 6.30 in the morning from Singapore to lecture by Zoom online to students over here, 6.30 in the afternoon. Understood. And now, viewers, uh, the course uh, begins on March 21st, a 2022 duration. As Dr. Hodge says, it's an eight-week uh, coursework, uh, one to four months project. Uh, if you uh, did not know of this uh, course before, the application deadline is uh, February 18th at 2022. Uh, Ms. Donovan, I want to talk about the, uh, the project phase, which is uh, the more practical uh, component. Can you expound on that? Well, I, th I think one of the things we have to understand is that, as I said, um, you know, fintech is, is really a massive industry that combines, you know, finance and technology. And where BVI comes in is that, you know, we are seeing the growth and the innovation taking place in this yes. jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. uh, just a couple years ago, we talked about 35 years of innovation for international business companies. And we were using a, a system called, you know, we use a system called Virgin, uh, which is a technologically advanced system of, of incorporating companies. But over the years, we continue to innovate, we continue to adapt, we continue to grow as a jurisdiction. And this is one of the areas that we are seeing growth in the last uh, few years. We uh, certainly have heard a lot about crypto ex uh, currencies and uh, exchanges. We've heard about initial coin offerings. And we've also heard about funds uh, that are growing in, in cryptocurrency. So there are lots of things happening in this space and BVI has been uh, defined as a hub uh, for, for some of this uh, FinTech uh, uh, technology that is taking place and we certainly know that there are a lot of opportunities but what we have recognized is there's a gap between the knowledge base and the ability to take advantage and avail us, ourselves of the opportunities. So this is why we are delving into this program to ensure that we create a strong cadre of, of, of professionals who understand the field and who can uh, take opportunities, not just in the BVI, because it doesn't matter where you are. Yes. That's the thing with financial technology. And we've seen during this whole COVID era that you can be anywhere in the world and work anywhere in the world and that's that's the beauty of it you know we are going to be using uh, technology for for the to courses our uh, professors are 12 hours you know uh, time difference and halfway across uh, around uh, around the world in Asia but we are certainly being able to take advantage here in the BVI and create those opportunities for professionals for entrepreneurs and uh, we look forward to growing the fintech industry here in the jurisdiction most definitely. Ms. Donovan, in uh, your introduction, you did, of course, mention, as we all know, uh, that financial services is by far uh, one of our main economic pillars. Uh, of course, with the global pandemic that is COVID-19, we have, of course, adopted. But I want to specifically ask you, how essential do you think this is for our local professionals here in the Virgin Islands to uh, be equipped with the necessary tools uh, through fintech, uh, essentially in order to take us to the next level? I think it's essential part of our growth and as I say part of our innovation as we've seen over the last year the fastest growing um, industry is is financial technologies it's one of the fastest growing industries it's now you know five trillion dollars and uh, BVI has an opportunity to be a part of it so it's essential that for the growth and innovation that we want to see in our financial services industry, uh, we want to be one step ahead. And we are always looking to how we are going to diversify our market, how we are going to remain competitive. Yes. And this is an area where I think we can remain competitive. And we've all also, um, you know, the Financial Services Commission established uh, in 2020 a FinTech regulatory uh, sandbox. And uh, that's to create opportunities for uh, businesses in that space to grow within certain parameters and to explore, you know, the opportunities uh, for, for customers and offer their services. And so this is really something that we want not just to hear about uh, in terms of uh, an industry, but we want participants in the BVI to be a part of the industry and to grow with the industry as BVI grows as well. 
Thank you yeah. so much. I, I want to talk, uh, I, I want to get into the participation of local firms, though. This is not a, just a benefit to uh, financial service um, uh, uh, professionals. Uh, tell us about firms, local firms, uh, their participation. How can they uh, participate in the project phase and what essentially would the benefit be uh, for them? Okay, so the project phase it, it has a benefit for the students. The students, number one, get an opportunity to practice their learning. So it's not just theory in a classroom, but they actually get an opportunity to apply what they've learned. Now, the benefit for the local firms, for, for any local firm, and it doesn't have to be a financial services related firm, it can be tourism, um, hospitality, trading, sales, etc. The benefit is, I'd like to think of it as, as them getting perhaps a free consultancy even, because they'll have access to a student under the instruction of one of the expert professors from the National University of Singapore, who will be able to come into their company, look at their processes, look at the way they serve their customers, and the, then determine how can FinTech then be used to improve their service delivery, to make them more efficient, and to help them to um, serve their customers better. So this is an opportunity for um, firms to get access to, to knowledge, really, and to technical expertise. We have put a confidentiality agreement in place so that, of course, any information that the firms share will be absolutely protected. But uh, a tremendous opportunity. Some firms aren't able to afford massive consultancies uh, where uh, persons come in and help them to automate their processes. But this uh, class provides an opportunity for businesses to have exposure and access to a student guided by a professor in developing a fintech project to help their organization. And these, these projects will be pilots um, that they can develop and grow. And uh, as, as Dr. Hart says, automate automate um, their processes and we I know many of us would like to see a lot of automation taking place and to have services at our fingertips on our smartphones uh, yeah. here in the BVI. Absolutely. Yeah. Now uh, guys I want to talk about the uh, start dates of course I mentioned the first cohort uh, begins on March 21st uh, 2022 application a deadline is February uh, yeah. the 18th which is a Friday um, of course interviews are going to be taking place uh, on Friday uh, between a Friday February 21st and the 25th um, of course there's a notification process but I want to talk about cost uh, yeah. uh, tell us about the cost that uh, entails in these courses All right okay so uh, initially the cost mr. Grant was uh, fifty uh, one hundred dollars, five thousand one hundred, and we um, put it out there uh, for applications last year, and we had many persons apply. But the reality is, the cost was a, a bit prohibitive, and persons who wanted to undertake the the program couldn't because of the cost. But um, this is where the I'm so glad to say that we were able to get help and massive support from the Ministry of Education, specifically. Uh, the Honorable Minister, Dr. Natalia Whitley, who stepped in and provided a very gracious grant that has allowed us to cut the cost in half. So it's no longer $5,100, it's now $2,600 by virtue of the support from the Ministry of Education. Wonderful. And of course, this there's a payment plan that allows persons to pay uh, that cost in five payments over a period of five months. Uh, Mr. Grant, ideally, we want to get as many persons as possible involved in this program. And um, the minister and the Ministry of Education didn't want cost to be so much of a barrier. The yes. important thing is to get this information and knowledge into the BVI uh, space so that we can help to digitize and um, uh, make more efficient and technic technologically um, serviceable the BVI economy. And one of the exciting things, uh, Mr. Grant, about this is that the certification is coming from one of the uh, leaders in the field, the National University of Singapore, which is known for academic excellence uh, in, in this particular area. Uh, many may remember uh, about three years ago or four years ago, we actually had Professor Keith Carter, who came down from Singapore 
and spend a couple weeks here in the BVI doing uh, fintech immersion and, and learning. So this is a, a growth of, uh, out of that um, initiative and we certainly want to have that certification. I mean, you're getting certific certification from one of the most prestigious uh, programs uh, in this field and I, I'm sure Dr. Yeah. Hodge can, can yeah. talk more about that. Sure, if I, I could just add to that, if I may. Uh, the National University of Singapore was ranked out at one point as fourth highest in the world in terms of their school of computing and their school of data science. Uh, they were just under organizations or schools such as uh, MIT, Stanford, and Carnegie Mellon uh, University, ahead of some of the uh, very prestigious schools such as Harvard and Oxford, specifically in the area of uh, computing. So uh, we're very blessed, I would say, and um, uh, very fortunate to have yes. this kind of instruction, high-level, world-class instruction uh, delivered to us live uh, via Zoom, uh, allowing our students here in BVI to benefit and then to be able to apply. I could not agree with you more. I think as we continue to advance in our training and, of course, uh, our financial uh, technology, it is important that we continue to take advantage of any professional development that will continue to allow us to be leading professionals uh, within the uh, finance industry. I want to thank you both so much for your time. Uh, of course, viewers, if this program sounds like it's something that you could absolutely benefit from, you're asked to visit rmibvi.com. Again, that is rmibvi.com, or you can call 340-6310 or 345-5991. Again, I was joined by Dr. Derry Hodge, Director at the H. Lively Stock Community College, Robert Matavius uh, Institute, and CEO of BVI Finance, Ms. Elise Donovan. I want to thank you so much for your contribution. Thank you for your time. Thank you very Thank much, you. Mr. Grant. Thank you. And viewers, that is all the time we have, but of course, not all the content. Stay tuned to our page, twit4media.com, as well as our Facebook and social media handles, Instagram and Twitter, for the latest in local, regional, and international happenings. Have a beautiful rest of the day. I'm Ron Grant.